All right, hey Porter, this is Abel, and he just wanted to show you how he puts on his Dex Dexcom G6. We're so excited that you are getting yours. We have lots of background noise, sorry. But um, we just wanna walk you through how Abel does it. Abel, do you have any advice for Porter before he does his first one? We have it figured out now, right? Okay. Right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put some Icy Hot right where we're gonna apply it. Um, we prefer the tummy, and I think that's the only place, right, Sean, that Dexcom um, approves yeah. right now. So if we have a problem with it on the tummy, then they will replace it, no problem. We rotate different size of the abdomen yeah. every time. We just want to be careful. It's a couple considerations. We don't want to put it right where his waistband is going to go. Um, Abel doesn't like it really high, so we just put it where his waistband will sit, right below it. Um, Seatbelts is probably another consideration or any sports that you guys do. Um, on placement. So we just let the Icy Hot work for a little bit. And we're just gonna clean it up kind of gently. Um, we do use an alcohol swab just to make sure that his skin is nice and clean. I do it really gently because these are not super soft. Um, just so that the, the adhesive sticks really well. And then we put an ice pack on it. And then we just let Abel tell us when is enough ice. Enough ice. All right. Um, so we've already taken it, I don't know if it's, we've already taken it out of the little box. Um, I'm going to wait until Abel says that he's ready and then I'll take the, the backing off. Is it ready? All right. And then I let, Abel likes to place it. So you put it wherever you want it. Let's make sure your skin's all dry though. There you go. Cool. And then do you want to do it? Okay. Then you just break off this tab. Just push and forth, and now it's ready to go. So, Abel, you tell me when you're ready? Okay. You just push the button. And then you, oh, you want to do it? All right. You put your fingers around it three times just to make sure the adhesive sticks. We like pump peels. Um, Abel does have eczema. I wouldn't say he has sensitive skin, but we have certainly had trouble with some um, of these that he's like extra. Different ones. Yeah, some different brands. Pump peels seems to work really well. Oh, oh sorry. Pump peels works well for his skin. We haven't had any issue with it. Um, good job, buddy. There you go. You just kind of take it off. Oh, I would take the middle off next. Yep. Just take it off section by section. I was doing that, I will say the one thing. Um, the first time we did his sensor, we had it wasn't comfortable for him, so we took it off. Dexcom replaced it, no problem. And then we had him lean over, right, Sean? So mm -hmm. that he had a little extra skin, a little extra cushion um, for this sensor that goes underneath his skin into the interstitial fluid. But we don't have a problem with that anymore. So sometimes we let it soak, meaning we just leave that sensor in there before the sen this sensor actually expires. Um, and we would just cover it with some medical tape so it doesn't snag on anything. We just use that. We would take a strip and cover it. Are we gonna switch it over right now or do you wanna let it soak for a bit? Let it soak. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Abel, go ahead. What do you think, bud? Good call. That's a trick that we learned after months. Huh? <laughs> I never do it now. Good. But well, we're not gonna swim for a while. Yeah, let's cover it, and then when you when you and Daddy want to switch over your transmitter, the purpose of that is we've just noticed Dexcom will come in um, more accurate once we start getting readings from the new sensor. If it has a chance to just uh, like acclimate to his <laughs> interstitial, but I don't know, like warm up to it. I'm not really sure what, but it's a trick that we read about, and it seems to work really well for us. So, well, how'd it go? No issue. Just the best way to do it. Yeah, supporter, so you can do it. It's a little bit, um, it's a new thing. Do you have any advice? Have you thought of anything you want to tell Porter? Is it nice to have the G6? Few of us finger G7. sticks. Yeah, we're excited about the G7 though, but I'm um, super excited you're getting the G6. All right. All right. Oh, last thing. So for Porter, for you and your parents, we log in. If you can read <laughs> Mr. Sean's right. Hey, just so, flip the, the big. Yep. So write down the lot number. Right here. And then keep the pin off of the sticker. Where's first you got the sticker? Right here. Keep that and write that number down because that's what you'll need to set up and start the new sensor. 
the pin, this little guy, Boop. and then the lot number, in case you got to call Dexcom, it helps to have that handy, although they can kind of tell already which one it is. Yeah, that's super helpful. We just write it right in Abel's tracking book. Um, okay. Alright, there we go. Non-issue. Right, buddy? Alright, go play. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna swap the scent, the transmitter now. So what I have to do is first go to Abel's Dextrom, Dex, Dexcom app, and Let's stop sensor. Yeah, stop the sensor. Okay, the sensor has stopped. This one has not the new one. Yep, the old one. So Abel's going to take, so this is really important. He wants to hear about the two clicks when you take out the old one and put it in the You first have to take that one off. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. No. Mm -hmm. So we take that off, and I totally have that off film. But now, we need to break this down, pull the transmitter out. And where's the cotton top? And... Or not the cotton, the alcohol. Here, take the air from the alcohol wipe. We take an alcohol wipe. You don't have to do this, but we do it and we wipe down the actual transmitter. Not the whole thing. Just the back side, just to make sure it's good. <laughs> okay. Now we let it dry and then Abel's gonna put the new transmitter in and then I'll show you on the phone app how we start his new. So that's dry. All right, so he's gonna stick, he's gonna clip the one side in, in, and the two clicks, right, bud? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're in. Nice work, so now we'll come over here. This is the boring part. Uh, yeah, start the new sensor, and see the picture right there, so enter the code, or I can do manual, so cable. So anyway, I'm just gonna enter the code, and then it's gonna take off, so we we'll hope that helps.